All right, so we're here with, with the legendary TK, TNR, OGM. LB, TKTS, Aerith. Yeah, so we got, we got one of the biggest, most prolific dudes to do it right here. Truly an honor to be here with TK today, man. Thank you again for having us out to West Hall Walls, out here in beautiful, sunny Florida, Orlando. And uh, really super stoked on the, on the aesthetics of the place. It's incredible. So TK, man, thank you. And thanks to your boy Caster for hooking this shit up, man. Hold up. So now we're just gonna do top five, man. And, and like I said, we had done some of this stuff with like Easy and Kid and Zen and a couple other people. Um, and I would love to get your top five inspirations. So as a graffiti artist coming up in New York, who are the five guys that inspired you to do what you do? I'm the first guy that inspired me to even start writing. Rhythm 2. I met him back in around the fall in 79. With my man Mabutu, who I went to school with in around the fall. Then my boy from around the way, Spear, DS3. You know what I'm saying? He's the bomb around the way that's inspired me to get up. I'm on X Vandal 2 1. Came before me back in the neighborhood. And I'm going to say OE3 who uh, gave me the inspiration to go all city, go all out, straight up. So throughout, throughout the course of your life, it was mostly the people that were close to you. Basically, at the same time, everybody inspires me. I get a little inspiration off of everybody, bro, straight up. Yeah, at first, you know, you see the, you see the tags in your neighborhood, man. You like, you start digging the style. You start like uh, playing damn man, how do you do that? Dude had to have heart to do this. If you wanted to be just like that, you know what I'm saying? Oh, um, then as I got old, I started getting out to the city more. And I started seeing other cats getting up. I started seeing cats from Brooklyn getting up in the city. I'm like, oh, homeboy came from Brooklyn and got up in the city. Then as I got a little bit more older, I started seeing cats from Brooklyn getting up in the Bronx too. I'm like, oh, nah, 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 I could do this too. So you know, I'm hitting trains at the same time I'm hitting streets too. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I couldn't, I couldn't, you know, choose from between either one of them. You know, I, I would be doing a whole car one week, and the next week I'm going all, all out street balling with Jaws and Easy. You know what I'm saying? It's just one of those things, man. I love the, the whole thing about it, but you know, I was also a adrenaline junkie too, man. So the, taking the chance to do those things really, you know, got me hooked. You know what I'm saying? As far as I can look back, man, my mother was big on pyramidship when it came to homework and, and doing book reports and stuff like that. I remember that. You know what I'm saying? She wasn't having that sloppy shit, so I developed a knack for good pyramidship. Which, if you look at graph and you look at people's styles and the neatness of how they tag and, and the neatness in their, in, in their pieces, man, it really is all about good penmanship, just in another form. Just with pen. You know what I'm saying? Without a can. Exactly. You yeah. know what I'm saying? But at the same time, and I say this to everybody, practice, practice, practice. And when you're done practicing, practice some more. You know, as a writer who I've been doing this since 79, I still practice. I still do. Then things start becoming second nature to you, man. It's like, okay, so you got the skills, you know, you got the hand skills, blah, blah, blah. And then now the style starts coming to play. And style's infinite. You know what I'm saying? Once you learn those artistic fundamentals as far as the style is, then you start to fetch out and do more, more owls, hair, letters, bending hair, this and that, like this. Now, people talk a lot about this hair. And that, for me, Back in the day, either you had it or you didn't. Yeah. Nobody was gonna take you serious if you were a toy, so I don't make a big deal out of that. That's the second nature right there. Right, I can also do that tag left-handed. You know what I'm saying? Hanging upside down. Yeah. My, my fucking feet. Who knows, but anyway. Yo, it's your brand. Take pride in your brand. Yeah. All right, I'm done. Yeah, man. Yo, TK, man, I just wanted to say ah. a big thank you, man. Oh yeah, we, we will. We're gonna be back, man. We're gonna be back. We're gonna hit you at the house. We're gonna have you go through the album.